Like, not even Elaine stood a chance. Aaron, my god. 10 21st, 305. I hope Aaron's going to be- Yeah, he's- Again. How are we- What are we supposed to do? They- We- None of us have any chance. I think even the Grendel will get his tits kicked in. How do we win? <laughs> he also said his life isn't in danger, at least. He's going to need to stay off his feet for a while, though. Again, I keep getting terrified I'm not recording. Thank you for bringing him back. Wish he was a little less battered and bruised. What's important is that he's still alive. He took a he took a gauntlet to the the back of the ribs. You're wide open. Ow. It's not a good place to get hit. Left to his own devices, he would have just kept fighting, even if it cost him his life. Ugh. I knew it was a firebrand, but maybe he's just playing reckless. If the circumstances were any different, I think he'd have been more level-headed. Yeah. It just goes to show how important his friends were to him. Either way, looks like an all-out war between Hayway and Armata is inevitable now. And both sides are ready to throw down. <laughs> oh my god, it's going to be epic. Those people we fought in the warehouse were strong. But do they really stand a chance against Hayway? I still can't believe they do that to their own people. Yeah, he literally landed and basically blew them apart. Which is not good. Normally I'd say hell no. Hayway's got too much of an upper hand on their home turf, meaning A's got to have an ace up their sleeve. Something that's got them believing they can take down Hayway with even with Yin in the fray. Must be the Genesis, right? What are you thinking? They're weird fog, or is it something else? Who knows? They've got a Genesis. Either way, can't drag you into this any further. Once the fighting begins, Hayway will hunt Almata to the, their loss without a shred of mercy. Neither the police nor Gil will be able to intervene, and unfortunately, there will be casualties. I see. Mm. At the very least, I wager Fan will be thinking about the common folk. Can't say the same about Jin, though. The cops and the Gil will be on the case, so I'd say your role in this is all up. No, it's not. We've got an eroded cave to go to, man. You. Why not call it a trip and head on home? Jack? Got a point, I guess. Out of work reasons for staying. <laughs> Our other business around here can wait till this mess blows over. Though, we just have to be me and Fairy. Uh, it's true. I, I suppose so. Arne. Then how about I give you a reason to stick around? He's gonna hire us, right? I again, that that's my foot. I've got a job for you, Spriggan. Knew it, I knew he was gonna hire us. That's epic. Aaron. He likes us really. You shouldn't be out of bed yet. Your wounds may reopen. I don't have time to sit around and feel sorry for myself. Almada and Heiyue are up to some shit. And my friends are dead because of it. But I couldn't avenge them on my own. All I have to show for my efforts are some new scars. If I just teamed up with you, maybe my friends would still be alive. Those thugs in the warehouse, too. They could have atoned and made something of their lives. <sighs> What do I have to say to convince you? Mom loved this town so much, and so did my friends. So please, help me kick those bastards out of our town and make things right. Be my pleasure, my dude. Oh, Aaron. Finally dropping the pride, huh? <laughs> I've got one condition. <laughs> huh? We ain't killing anyone. Goes for that pair of Almada execs, too. We either force him to retreat, or hand him over to Heiyue. I don't think we could kill him if we wanted to, to be honest. You've got to be kidding me! If you were a member of Heiyue, I wouldn't stop you. But right now, you're just a nobody. Ain't gonna let a kid who's still finding his way become a murderer. <laughs> True. Man. Even with stakes this high, he never really changes, <laughs> does he? Because he's an old fart and he's got experience. Fine. I accept your condition. We got a new member, right? I'm pretty sure. I'll try to figure out what Heiyue is planning, though I may not be able to do much. By the way, I just forgot. 
That normally we have eight members, don't we? Is that the same for this game? Do we have four backups? We'll maybe? poke around and see if our contacts know anything. Don't plan on us swooping in to save you, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I know better than to bet on you. Listen, Aaron. I know that if Auntie Yuefa were here, she'd let you go fight those monsters. So I'm not going to stop you either. But you better not die out there, okay? <laughs> it's a promise. I'll get married already, God. They are a cute couple, must admit. Looking better already. Seriously, that was incredibly quick. Bit <laughs> well done, Doctor. Oh, I really didn't want to resort to using his cell. Wow, he was limping and ragged just moments ago. What the heck did you put in that cell? Some kind of secret Eastern recipe? Indeed, it's a precise blend of crushed dragon bone, soul moss, and divine powder. It revitalizes the body and dulls its pain receptors. However, there are big repercussions for you using it. You better be ready to spend a couple of weeks in bed once this is over, Aaron. Maybe we don't get to use him then. Because if he's going to be in a coma, you know. Damn, that's some intense stuff. I could definitely use some in a pinch. It's a little scary sounding, though. Bring it on. It'll take more than some medicine to stop the Crimson Khan. <laughs> he just collapses into some... Oh, yeah, he's done. Actually, I'm done calling myself those edgy nicknames. I like it. It's a cool nickname. Anyway, are you both big time? It's no wonder Hayway holds you guys in such high regard. Heh, you really know how to bar up an old doctor. But doctor up, don't you? I must admit, I never imagined two of you would end up working together, Arkharide. Look at him now, lying on outsiders through and through. It's hardly my place, but uh, please help him. Consider it me finally paying you back. Again, Van always pays his debt. How the hell does this guy know everybody? Have you met before, Shinley? Yeah, he's like Reen, he's got all of the contacts in the world. We sure have. I've been hoping we could spar for a long time, even. Gonna have to call a rain check on that one. I know you put up a real fight. This city is so awesome! The food is great and everyone is so strong! Oh. I was right with you until the last point. <laughs> well, Aaron, Arkwright, the outsiders may be dangerous, but you should be aware of El Gin as well. His Yang Shou are a force of nature. Furthermore, he's also the oldest of Heiwei's elders. You have long ruled this town. You will be wise not to underestimate him. Oh, we're going to kick the old man in the tits. I promise you that. Hey, finally we have a fourth member. Why do you think he warned us about Lao Yi? Good question. Gin did give me that kind of vibe though. I also have a feeling even on his young show would have put up a hell of a fight. Yeah, they seem to be as fearsome a force as Yin. Eh, whatever. We're better off focusing on our mallet anyway. Again, I must dance to every new track. Much as I like to call the shots though, they're in charge now. I'm your boss, little child. Heh. <laughs> What's the plan? First off, they want in the bugs at the warehouse for that to be all of them. Me and the rest, and maybe those execs, have got to be somewhere else. Else. Else elsewhere. So you think they have get enough of base in the city? That makes sense. They need somewhere big to prepare their forces. The Rooney Cave? The Rooney Cave? Not many places that they could be though. The Eastern Court is out of the question, and Hayway's got their eyes on Newtown now. And after all this shit that went down the docks, we could probably roll there out too. What about the naval port next to it? Though that would mean the navy is somehow involved in all this, which is disconcerting to say the least. Hmm. Yes, we did go there as well. Hmm. Hmm. That's definitely a possibility. Well, damn. Little lady's got a dark imagination. <laughs> God, how uplifting was that? That is a drop. I would have thought Hairway would have the Navy in the back pocket by now. What do you think? Fans have been greasing the Navy's palms for a while now. As far as I know, they're still loyal to Hairway. They've got folks on the inside too. Something this big wouldn't go unnoticed. I see. That option's off the table then. The Navy being bribed by one group and not the other, it's hardly comforting. <laughs> it's an army for sale, that's good. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just past four. We've still got time left. Alright, it's time for a pra practical exam, kid. I showed you how you worked last night. You've got till this evening to find us those monsters. Huh? <laughs> My instincts are telling me we almost we have almost all the pieces we need to find the other base. The Rooney Cave. The Rooney Cave. But I've got a hunch what we're missing is something only you can find. You've lived here the longest, and those place scent like the back of your hand. We'll back you up, but I'm handing you you the reins on this case. 
Yes. Here, yeah, sniffing around like a dog is my style. But what the hell? I'm not about to pass up a chance to steal your thunder. Oh god, he's just like Ash, isn't he? <laughs> Ash was, was so driven to beat Reen's, you know, reputation. He never did, really, because Reen's god tier, but whatever. Heh, <laughs> ain't you a smart ass? I'll need to catch my train later, but I can help you until then. Oh, we might not have our name, money. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go. Is it rounds time again? Aaron joined the party. It is. <laughs> the full rounds again. Okay, wow. This is so many rounds. I like it though, but I know that some people might be like, oh god, another one, but I like it. So we got a sub event, a si another side quest, a force pizzas, and the rounds. Well then. I can't believe you're actually using that cell. Not even the Jan Show resorts that stuff often. As Dr. Long Kai explained, it's made from a combination of dragon bone, soul moss, and divine powder. What is divine powder? Is this like the ashes of a holy beast summon? When it's applied, it hits all the vital points of the body and injects an abundance of energy into them. The backlash is immense. Are you sure you want to use I mean The old man already rubbed it all over me, so we kind of have no choice. Damn right I am. Compared to the pain my bros went through, this is nothing. Anything for the boys. I'm gonna put those basses through hell. Two weeks of rehab is what it takes to do that, then that's a price I'm gonna have to pay. Well, I can see your mindset. I won't try to stop you then. Just promise me you'll make it back alive. Need any pain med medication? <laughs> Let me know. I, I need all of the drugs. We're fighting people that can disintegrate others, you know what I mean? Guess Aaron's term to charge the enemy lines. I know I can't change his mind now, so we just have to prepare to help him with, with rehab. Won't be easy, but I'm sure he'll get through it. Give him an ample supply of alcohol and he'll be he'll be fine. Trust me. That's how I live my life. I don't. Don't don't take that literally. Hold it. Once the south wears off, you won't be able to move for the next half month. Give or take. I'll stay with you through the duration of your rehab. Aw. I can promise you'll make a swift and full recovery, but only if you make it back here in one piece. And I will, Doc. I'm not planning on getting any more injuries, and I sure as hell won't die out there. I'll get back on my feet in no time at all. So you have nothing to worry about, mate. Very well. I'll leave you on your way then. But allow me to leave you with some passing words. The truest of threats often comes from the places you'd least expect, such as the eroded cave, which clearly is, okay? Be vigilant of your surroundings and of yourself. Right. Boom. The mist from last night reminded me of what transpired 40 years ago. The elders had the same thought as well. Don't be distracted by the enemy in front of you, Aaron. Mm. Um. I agree, fairy. Hmm. Sid, I promise I'll get revenge for you and the rest of the bros. So hurry and wake up already, please. I want to be able to tell you about how I beat their asses down. We are going to thoroughly slap them in the anus with all of our back attack skills. Okay, that's what I was meaning. Nothing else. Okay. What's up, fucker? Uh, um. Excuse me, Aaron. About your friends, I'm... I'm... Still freezing up here. Well, I know what you're trying to say. Bangs. And don't worry about me, alright? I'm gonna be gone for a bit, but I'll be back. That's a promise. Although, I don't know if I'll be able to take the stage the same way I used to. Uh, Aaron? Aaron? I, I, um... I, I believe in you! And, and I love you. Like, super hard. Heh, <laughs> finally managed to get the words out. That's one less thing for me to worry about. <laughs> oh, bless. Young love, I don't know what you're leaving for, and it's certainly not my place to ask. But I'll hold you to your promise. Please come back to us safe and sound. Don't worry, I'll get your boyfriend that you've been stalking uh, back in one piece. Don't you worry about nothing. This is a sub event, so let's have a look. I must do all I can for them. Hmm? Ah, welcome. I recognize you all. You came here with Ashen yesterday, correct? Uh, Aaron? Thank goodness you're okay. You've all been worried sick about you. Well, you can quit your worry. As you can see, I'm fine. Just ignore the hardcore drugs I'm taking. So, uh, were things okay here yesterday? Yes, everyone was in the theatre last night, so the staff were all unharmed. Heh, <laughs> good to hear. Why the long face then? Well, I'm saddened by Sai and Huang's passing. Naturally, I knew them well. Those two came to watch our performances with their friends many times. They even helped out here from time to time. Damn. Heavy. Yeah, I remember that. And now they're just... gone. You'll never be see any of our shows again. I wanted to honor their memory, so we're adding a section at the end of our performance tonight. All of the performers will join in prayer and offer up flowers towards the sky. Aw, oh, bless. We're in the middle of putting things together as we speak. You're really going out of your way for them. 
So it sounds like a good idea to me. Thank you. It's the least we could do for them. Unfortunately, there's one small problem. You see, there's a particular flower I want to use. It carries a symbolic meaning that's perfect for the occasion. But I haven't been able to find it at the mark. Oh, is this a quest then? I thought this was just like a talk to the dude that's important. Huh? Have you considered importing it? I thought about it, but I wouldn't have time to do so before the end of the day. I'd like to do this to... I'd like to use your today's performance, if possible. And I really want to do it with the specific flower I had in mind. Okay, so what's it called then, doobie -doo? The Spring Lily. Ooh. Ah, that one. First I've heard of it. The Spring Lily comes up sometimes in folklore. It's a rare flower that grows deep within the eroded cave! Although this isn't the quest I had in mind, I thought that would be the finale. Its petals are light green and they glow ever so slightly. Their innocent light guides the spirits of the dead to the heavenly mother. Or so tell it goes. Get ya. I get why you really wanted to go for it now. Do you guys think we can help him? I don't know. Cut it in a hurry. But I want those chests that were ignored, so I want them. If we happen to stumble upon some, though, we'll give them. We'll try to bring them to you. Thank you, Aaron. I appreciate it. God, the music keeps perfectly matching. You ain't fooling anyone. We can tell you want to do this. Can we go there, Nim? No. Oh, I was so right, wasn't I? We're going to get it at the end. It's said that the spring lily grows deep within the eroded cave. Something beep. Okay. I thought there's OBS saying, I've broken. Please stop. It's said that the spring lily grows deep within the... Specifically the area behind the boss that we could not go to. I know how it goes. If you all end up going there, please look for it. Although I suppose there's little reason for anyone to head there under these circumstances. I don't know what. You managed to conclude this morning's performances without incident. I'm glad people were able to enjoy them as usual. There's no need for you to be concerned with the us, Arrow. Do what you need to do. I wasn't worried about you in the first place. He was. You guys aren't the type to lose hearts so easily. Hit! True enough, I suppose. You'll want to see you on the stage again soon. So promise me you'll make it back safe. Sure thing, I'm already itching to make my grand return. And another one, my god, he's got the most so far. I know you have things to take care of, but we believe that when you finish your business, you'll come back to the stage and take the world by storm once more. Well, it's probably going to be three daybreak games. I'm assuming it's going to be worse the entire time, so see you in five years, my dude. Right. Exactly, Aaron gets it. I imagine if you didn't talk to him, the flower wouldn't be pick up -able when we went. I'm assuming that's that. Now, Aaron, please don't say you're going to eat her again. There are young children here, and that's very inappropriate. Aaron, I'm so sorry about Sian Huang. Sorry, I killed the mood there, didn't I? They were some of my nicest guys I knew. They enjoyed my noodles so much. I know they did. And don't worry, I'll make damn sure they're avenged. Gotcha. In that case, I'll whip up the best noodles you'll ever eat and cheer you on. Go get them, Aaron. Teach those assholes a lesson. You're goddamn right I'm coming back for your noodle. Time to dig into your noodles, everyone. They're smooth. Easy to eat and great for revitalizing stamina. Perfect for a time like this. When life gets tough, eat noodles. Like the noodle, the path to the future is long and winding. Just take it one step or slurp. I hate that word. At a time. It's up there with moist for me. Those two words are just there like. You go. Thanks. No. Thanks. <laughs> Hell yeah, my dude, just let it go. Look at him go. He's got the moods. She really doesn't want to dance with him. And she doesn't want, she just, she's too polite, he doesn't know how to say go away, so she's just sort of swinging. But my bro's giving it everything he's got, and I respect that. Go on, mate. God, mm. it's music. Couldn't find any info about the mist, but I did learn an interesting tidbit about something unrelated. Apparently, Hale did some covert antiques trading recently, utilizing a trade route they don't normally use. I don't want to stick my head into their business or anything further, but it's eyebrow raising for sure. That's high as I can. Raise them, yes. Especially after the Harbour District incident. Samata so wasn't the only one looking into antiques. What the hell is he way up to? Thanks for the tip, Jigam. Might be best to steer clear of this whole affair from here, though. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm not about to go poking the bear. I love taking risks, but not when my neck is on the line. Sounds well. like you don't want to take any risks, my dude. Don't know all the details, but Amata wasn't the only one looking for the into the antiques. Hayaway was too. <gasps> What in the world could they be plotting? I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, I also looked uh, off screen. I forgot to show you. That's uh, yes, we're collecting Genesis's like gym badges from Pokemon. Hopefully, saying the word Pokemon won't get me banned because you know what they're like. 
But yeah, so we're actually collecting gym badges. That's cool. Oh, hey, Aaron. Oh, is this an important one? I did not notice. Glad to see you're all right. I was worried when I heard you disappeared this morning. You look calmer than I expected. So do you guys see my request? Oh. No. Right, request. I'll take it as a no. I just got a call from Hayway. Apparently a strong monster popped up in the eroded cape. Better you to get those boxes. I want them. Is it different from the giant crab we beat yesterday? Yeah, the currents changed today and the tide has dropped. And there it is. That's the words I wanted to hear for like 10 episodes. Lovely. And that's where the monster's roaming now. That's concerning. Yeah, we can go check it out and search for those flowers while we're there. A bunch of smaller monsters appeared once the big one made its home there. We can't do any tours there until the, those beasts have been exterminated. Got it. Sounds like you need this job done soon then. I know I'm asking a great deal of you, and I'm sure the time isn't ideal. Nah, it's fine. I need the XPs. So there's no hard feelings if you can't take it on. Only do it if you have the time. Oh, <gasps> there it is. Okay, so I get the, the side quest. Oh. We won't do that then. So is that on here then? <laughs> Tour de Force 2. Yes, it is. I don't get... Stop paying me nothing. I want more than two grand. That's like one chocolate bar. But see, that's like that's like four drinks. That's the amount of salary he's giving us for slaying a monster. That's so unfair. Oh, I thought the yellow dot was there. Is this it? Oh, almost. I wanted to talk to Poisson. I will. Oh, hey, you guys. Huh? What are you doing here, Ashen? I'm just exchanging some information with them. Did y'all figure anything out? Patience, but barely in time has passed since you last came here. Yeah, that was like five seconds ago. That said, I'm starting to piece things together. Thanks to no small parts of Hillway. Really? Can you share what we've learned so far? Sorry, I skipped that. I suppose that can't hurt. After we learned about the storehouse, Jack, Hallie and I spoke with the realtors in Longport. The only places that seemed suspect were the Messledom Trading Company's building and the storehouse. Are you sure those are the only possible hideouts? You're pretty sure the three of us poured through all of the contracts over the last few months. Although I guess they could have purchased the place over a year ago. No, I think about it. Oh dear. I think that's unlikely. A large piece of real estate was bought and left alone for that long. Hayway would have known about it. My god, they know everything. What if they rented multiple small to medium sized properties instead? Hmm. If they did that, then yes, it would have escaped our notice. Even still, I doubt they made that play. While it's, that, it's true that they could have duped Hale over the paperwork, the civilians would have known something was up. Most of the small to medium sized properties are in the residential district and the business district. We haven't been there yet, have we? I don't think so. There's a lot of people coming and going in those places. God, that drop is sexy. Right, if there was a bunch of abandoned sites all over the place, they'd have known about it. And then they'd be talking about it too. No way they keep quiet on the count of some shithead gangsters. Also, Hayway would know if the people were being threatened. Feels like we hit a brick wall. For the record, when I said I was piecing things together, I just meant I had chucked a few possibilities off the game board. Not helpful. Sorry guys, wish we had more to shit. It's alright, Hallie, I forgive you. Not Jack, but I forgive Hallie. Okay. I don't have favourites, don't judge. No, no, you've all been a huge help. Thanks to you, we're getting closer to solving this mystery. Well, it's nothing to figure anything else out. We'll do. Just watch your asses out there, alright? Don't worry, my dude, we got it sorted. Hayway hasn't caught wind of where the attackers from last night are lurking. At least not as far as I know. Personally, I'm willing to bet the elders have figured out something out. But in case I'm wrong, I'm going to lay out all the information I have on hand and try to come to the conclusion myself. If you guys find them before us, then be careful, alright? I'm pretty sure we will find them. First, you know what I mean. Aaron's finally made his decision, so I wanted to be useful. I wish I could have done more, but Hadley, my darling, it's quite alright. But it sounds like you guys are on the cusp of cracking the case. This is just my intuition speaking, but I think we might be better off looking at this from a different perspective. Never doubt a woman's intuition, everyone, okay? And Aaron's might be the ace in the hole we're looking for. Mm. Normally I'd say hedging your bets and folding would be the best play here. Though now that Aaron's being honest with himself, I think it's time we, all, we go all in. Sometimes you can't take a step forward unless you're willing to shoot for the moon. <laughs> God, it's so inspiring. That's why I'm with you guys till the end. God, the music. It's, it's not me like making it do that. The music is actually perfectly hitting. Oh, I can talk to you again. I thought we were done, but we're not. We're holding off on re reopening tours for a while longer. 
After hearing about the incident at the port, I decided it would be best to prioritise people's safety. Even if we lose money in the short term, if I don't have any issues with renting a boat to you guys, just send a word the keys are yours. I want your boat. Not just for the job, I want it. Forever. Her heavenly mother indeed. Oh, it's pals, I think. Okay. I came to pray for luck, and then two back to back incidents happened. I n Did I not say that everything that goes wrong will be this dude's fault? I'm pretty sure I said that, and I was right. At this rate, I'm worried something might happen to me on my way home. Stop praying, my dude. <laughs> Should I make a hasty retreat or wait here patiently? Oh god, that's tell me what to do. My dude, you're causing all of this. Just stop, okay? Honestly. The preparations for the funeral are complete. It will be held tomorrow. I hope that this ceremony will give the people some much needed comfort. Yeah, give my brothers a good send off. I want them to go on their journey in peace. I plan on settling the score before then. Very well. Just leave things here to me. It's our job to put people at ease and provide guidance for lost souls. By the way, my dear only felt like the older civilians were familiar with last night's strange phenomena. Now that I think on it, I believe my predecessor mentioned something about a taboo. Ooh, taboo religion. I finished the funeral arrangements and greeted the families of the deceased. Tomorrow we will be sending them on their final journey. It will be an open casket funeral, and there will be time for you to come up and say your goodbyes. Please come back safely, Aaron. Your friends would want you to be here to see them off. I mean, he's going to be in a... There he is. <laughs> he's going to be in a coma, so I don't know if he will be here. Oh, Heavenly Mother, have mercy on us. Please calm the tyrant's rage. This must be our punishment. Long port, long porters. Uh, you okay, pal? What's with all the doom and gloom? Van Aaron. Oh, it's just too cruel. You shouldn't have to bear the weight of our sins. Why must you suffer for our one? Did you summon like a demon or something? Everything's going to be okay, ma'am. No one here is suffering. The mist brought back memories from that horrific day 40 years ago. I'm certain his fury has rekindled due to their taboo. This must be to do with that legendary warrior or something, right? Or the monster thing. This is all divine retribution for our sins. I'm so sorry that you'll all pay the price too. Yeah, I'm totally lost as well, Variant. What do you mean by taboo and divine retribution? It's, um, I mustn't say. The city's abominable history will be buried with us. It cannot be passed to the next generation. Well, that's foreboding. Well, if you don't want to share, we won't force you. In any case, we'll take care of the mist. That's right, you even gathered a few leads on it. You leave it to us. I'm not going to let anything happen to the city. So keep your tin up, pal. You did as well. I can't stand seeing you like this. I, I understand. Thank you for reassuring me. You've grown up so much, Aaron. You remind me so much of when he, she was younger. Promise... Oh, is that, ooh, is that his mum, maybe? Promise me you'll be careful, okay? I'm assuming that's his mum she's talking about. You and Aaron are the most dependable youngsters I've seen in a very long time. Don't let the sins of the past hang over you. Just look forward and do what you must to protect our city. I hope you take that to heart, Aaron. Stay calm and face that which lies ahead. I believe you can overcome this without losing yourself. You need to remember that, Aaron, because in true Trails fashion, the end of this game is going to be some giant demonic castle or god that we're going to have to kill. So you better be ready, Aaron, okay? Hello there. It's nice to see you actually doing your job and actually being here. I've never seen so many police in one spot. Also, it's a very cool police car. I highly approve of that. Hello there, Elaine. I'm coming. Join the party, baby. No, she won't. I'm surprised that you're already out and about. Shouldn't you be resting? He took some extremely hardcore drugs. Don't worry about it. Now, nah, I got myself a quick fix. I'll come back to bite me later, but uh, I'll deal. So what's going on with you? Yeah, I'll wrap up your investigation. For the most part, we didn't get much out of it, unfortunately. Um, uh, the gangsters? They didn't make it. I mean, they were kind of blown apart by a giant man with a massive gauntlet. Oh dear. That's five more lives claimed by Almata. Oh. Like Giacomo, they chose to step into the darkness and they got swallowed up by it. That was very well. That was a very poetic line. Not poetic. It was a good line, okay? My brain's not working today. Just, that's just a natural consequence of following that path. No need for you, you two to feel responsible for what happened. Ben. I know. I can't afford to dwell on the subject any more than I already have. There's something else that's been bothering me, though. The numbers just don't add up. Oh, please do enlighten us. Wait for it. 
I'm sorry, it's just so uplifting. Yeah, I noticed that too. What are you two talking about? They must be referring to the total number of gangsters. No way last night's murder spree was done by only five random... It was only five, that's true. And a load of robots, but it was literally just five dudes. <gasps> the storehouse is pretty big. Think some of them might have been hiding in there? Doubtful. We searched the place from top to bottom. We must have another hideout then. Mm -hmm. The guild and the police came to the same conclusion, but we have no idea where it might be. Is there anywhere... I Again, I rode a cave, keeps screaming at me. I don't think there's been any other location we've not been to yet, so it has to be a new one. <laughs> oh, we're in the same boat then. Our mothers managed to fly on the hayways, all seeing radar, so we don't know Jack. Yes, it's almost like they've vanished without a trace. I don't even know if most of Almato was actually here. We've only seen those two executives so far, and they were terrifying. <laughs> Although one was very hot. You're thinking as well, it's not just me again. They really plan on going to war with Hayaway. They're going to need much more manpower than what they've shown. It's true, those invisible ninja people look terrifying. <laughs> a handful of part-time gangsters won't cut it. Regardless, their lack of activity is certainly a cause for concern. The war on Hayaway thing is just smoke and mirrors bullshit. Then it'll all make sense. Perhaps they intend to send them on the wild goose chases. To wear their will to fight, then come back for the kill. That sounds like something they do. Mm. My oh, hello, Zhanzhou. I think, way right about there. If my theory is correct, then I don't think Longport will see any more large-scale attacks from them. Hmm. I do feel like this is to draw attention away from something else. I know that this game likes to do that. <laughs> Even if you're right, I still can't let things end like this. Those murdering bastards cross the goddamn line, and I'll make sure they pay for it. I respect you, Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> well, can't do anything until we get more leads. Going to reach out to my contact to see if they found anything. God damn. I'm not going to tell you to stay out of this, but try not to do anything crazy, okay? Come on, this is Aaron. He's definitely not going to do anything crazy. Yes. Well, guess we've hit a dead end. Elaine seems like she's at a loss as well. And she's no slouch when it comes to investigating. So if even she's having trouble tracking them down. Hmm. And I waited, they're hiding in some place that outsiders like us wouldn't think of. I really gave. Guess it's all up to me then. And carry me to carry the team. <laughs> Good, because this whole thing's riding on you now. No pressure or anything, it's just entirely, entirely up to you. So, okay, so where's what's going next then? Back there. Again, that is the uh, Forest Petit Quest, which we'll do next episode. <gasps> Detective Dart, hello there, sir. You're free to investigate the storehouse as long as you're quick about it. All right. We have authority over the crime scene, at least for the time being. Presently, we're trying to track down the Almata executive. I swear, one, one day, I won't hear- I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the water I'm drinking. I don't know. I always hear If you learn anything, I'd be happy to exchange information. Also, I want to sneeze. So I'm going to hold my nose. This does work. Do you want to sneeze? Just sort of hold it. And there you go. There you go. No knowledge tip from your boy, Steve. We're looking into transportation network as well. There's any suspicious companies that may have ties to the mafioso. In doing so, however, the force has been spread too thin. I mean, to be fair, you've got like five people for an entire city. Honestly, they're pleased these games. That's why we're working in tandem with the guild. Our efforts align with their goal to protect the citizens, so they're happy to work with us. So again, remember, there's 500,000 people in Longport. 500,000. Also, wow, respect the arm game. Imagine doing that for 10 hours. Wow, I'd be knackered. <gasps> Hello there, jean -Sieu. Again, camera angle. I know what you like. Degenerates. <gasps> yes. Yeah, not like me. I'm definitely not one of them. We just finished inspecting the scene, and all the bodies have been collected as well. Hey, Aaron, I'm sure you don't... Hello, Aaron. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you this, but I'm as just leaders of bad news. I'm almost certain one of them is former military. You're not on their level yet, so I want you to... You better not be telling me to stay away from them, because I won't hear it. Again, Aaron, you got yeeted into a wall. I wouldn't fight them just yet. I know they're stronger than me, but those bastards are tearing up my town. And they murdered my friends in cold blood. So don't you dare tell me what to do. You don't understand jack shit about what I'm going through. I tried to make that... Well, I tried to act that out. Hopefully, hopefully it was good enough. Excuse me, you think I don't understand? Well, guess what? I do. You're not the only one who's pissed off, you know. I wasn't trying to tell you to stay away from them. I was going to tell you to be careful. If 
you throw caution to the wind, you'll be play, playing right into their hands. Who would get justice for your friends if that happened? She's right, you do. She's got you there. Yes. Yeah, me and Van think the same things. I understand how you feel, but it can't hurt to keep her advice in mind. Fine, God. But it doesn't change what I have to do. We know you. we will let you kill them. Don't worry, my dude. Oh, the fairy gets to kill the green one. I've I've given her that opportunity. Opportunity. I've given her that task to kill Melchior, and it's only she gets to do the finishing blow, okay? Thanks to Calvin the Hornet and Hornet. Okay, I haven't recorded for like three days. I've just been editing. So when he, when he goes straight into recording after like three days, super weird, okay? And yeah, I suck. Thanks to Calvin and Hornet, the police and the braces are working together. The cops are handling the arrest and are searching for Almata's whereabouts. We'll handle things from here, Spriggan. You'll kick butt out there, trying to keep Aaron out of harm's way. All right. Oh, you like me now. She hated me at the start. Now I'm gonna go. Can I go in here? There's no reason to enter. I want to. I agree, Fair. I wanted to go see the massively exploded wall, see if there's any secrets, but there's not. Okay, so that's that. Then we go back to Eastern Quarters, ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> this roll. <laughs> Oh, hello there, Mario. Aha, found you. I love that run so much. It's so over the top and she doesn't move any quicker. Here we go again. I've been looking all over for you guys. You have? Why? Do you say I'm recording? Yes, I am. Thank God. What do you mean, why? Because of what happened last night, of course. Again, she loves when people are killed so she can write stories about it. She's kind of nuts. I heard you guys arrive at the scene super quick. I want the full lowdown and I'm not leaving until you give me all the juicy details. Uh, who the hell is this chick? He's a reporter lady. Gotcha. Word of advice, little girl. You should stick your nose someplace else or we're going to end up wind winding up her. L little girl, I have you know I'm 21. Again, according to Aaron and everyone in this game, 21 is basically 70. Okay. That's, that's not me. I don't think that's true. But people in Calvert are very ageist. Yeah. Wait, are you seriously older than me? Damn, girl, you're rocking a real baby face. <laughs> true. Anyway, it's my duty to find the truth and report it to the world. So I'm going to stick to you like glue until I get a story I can plin. Although there is a Maxim Lugon. There's actually someone outside. They didn't see me, but it'd be weird if I was pointing him. <laughs> anyway. I wasted all years yesterday pursuing a dead lead. Awkward. So I've got to make up for lost time. Yeah, that was definitely on us. I'm also just curious on a personal level. That mist last night was so unsettling. Maybe it really did come from a ghost ship. Ooh. Wait, what did you just say? Huh? I said the mist was unsettling. No, the pop. Are they on the giant yacht? Are they on the sea? So that's a good place to hide, to be honest. No, the pot after that. I was wondering if the mist came from a ghost ship. Why would you assume that? When that mist showed up, I peered out the ocean, and I could just barely make out the silhouette of a ship. Well, everyone give Marielle a round of applause, because thank God she spotted it. I couldn't find any other witnesses at the harbour, but I know what I saw, and it was totally, totally a ghost ship. There's also a legend about it. The crew of every merchant vessel that crosses paths with a ghost ship in the mist will be slaughtered. That sounds scary. I know, Fairy. Again, Fairy believes everything. <laughs> I know I'm right. I've just got to be. There's one teensy little snag in my theory, though. The ship was kind of small. It's a far cry from the giant hulking ghost ship, I imagine. That's not the only snag. If, it's, if it slaughters the crew of every ship it comes across, no one could have lived to tell the tale. But how does the story come about? He's right, you know. We all know. Uh, well, maybe a super amazing reporter found out about it. Uh, somehow. Somehow they return. Yes. Star Wars memes. There's another thing. I believe the mist mostly appeared on land, not the ocean. Are you sure you weren't just seeing things? Oh, uh, I guess it was pretty dark that night. Maybe my eyes were... Why are we so quick to dismiss? She's the only one that's giving us a lead here, okay? Honestly. Maybe my eyes were playing tricks on me after all. It's always a burst your bubble. We also didn't have that much to share about the incident last night. Might be better off poking the cops or the braces. Oh, fine. I'll let you off the hook. Well, she's actually giving up. Mm. I'll let you off the hook this time. But if you happen to find any leaves, please let me in on it. This is my time to shine. When this story lands on the front page, bingo. Well, 
have. Just take notice on me. I see how I, I subverted expectations. <laughs> yeah, I'm weird today. Again, it's been a while since I recorded. Okay, that time you really did lie to her, Van. That's not right. Hey, if you ask me, I'm being nice. Even if I did spill the beans, she wouldn't have been able to report on the info. Also, I'm at a might off her if she knew, you know. It's all in her best interest to stay far, far away from the mafiosos. I guess I can't argue with you there. Anyway, you look like you're having a light bulb moment, Aaron. Yep, her story helped me put two and two together on Simon. It wrote a cave. Well, don't keep us in suspense. Share. Sure. Fact of the matter is, there shouldn't be any ships out and about in Longport at night. I can count the number of times I've seen that on one hand. And if the people at the harbour didn't see it, then it definitely sounds fishy. You suspect the gangsters escaped Longport in a boat? That's the case, it's no wonder the Hayway can't find them. They've had their eyes on the land this whole time. Now nah, I doubt they fled. They have to be close by. Probably just waiting for this whole thing to blow over before they strike Longport again. But where would they set up shop? You ready to give? There's only one place I can think of. You ready to give? I think they're held up on a remote island. Outsiders wouldn't know about it since it's off the map. The old fossils around here refuse to talk about... <laughs> again. He's actually talking about 19 year olds. Everyone's just ancient to Aaron, okay? But it comes up in rumours every now and then. It's an abandoned mining tank. Oh, it's not. Eroded Cape. I was so certain. <laughs> I guess we are just going to fight a giant crab again. It's an abandoned mining tank called Hai Long. Cheng Zai. Again, if I butcher pronunciations, I don't care. I'm trying my best, okay? Is that a lead then? Ooh. After they finished asking around, the group. I haven't done the side quest yet, so if we, if this moves us on, I will reload his save. After they finished asking around, the group reconvened to consider their findings. Think you've got it? Yeah, those bears has got us good. Picking somewhere, us folks in the eastern quarter are so used to seeing that we don't even think about it. Or more accurately, somewhere we were told not to think about. Because it's supposed to be cursed. We did see that. That looks epic. We saw that from the dock. That reminds me so much of something else. Another game I played. And it was haunted. It, or maybe it's a film. There's something that's triggering something. Hailong Cheng Zai. A large scale mining facility where droves of miners lived and worked until 40 years ago. Yeah, now it's deserted. And all we hear about it is all sorts of creepy stories. Really? Deserted? And all that? Jesus. People here grew up being told to stay the hell out because the place is haunted with ghosts and demons and shit. We learned that those rumors were first spread by the elders Hewe. I think it's bollocks then. I think I don't I don't trust Highway at all. I think they're hiding something. Not even the police or girl will go there because nobody lives there anymore. Mm. Makeshift bases don't get much better than that place. For someone who doesn't like sniffing around, you got a hell of a nose. Nice work, kid. Let's <laughs> see running into you again. Trying to recognize the voice. I don't know. Oh, of course. It's the great Maxim Lugon. It's the red something. <laughs> I love Ferry's just being nice, but she keeps brutally cutting his ego. I love it. What's with the shades? I wear them to suppress my natural charm. Though, eh. since you recognized me, it seems my star power is undeniable. Oh, I know. Who's this guy? I think he is. Wait, this dumbass was at last night's show. Well, this is a tonal shift, isn't it? <laughs> Hold the phone. Is that Aaron? Oh, please, please drop Max in for Aaron. That'd be hilarious. It totally is. Please, we bump into some fans eventually. Come now, girls, you'll make me jealous if you stare too much. Please run over to him. It'd be funny. Oh, we didn't mean to, Maxie. Boo! Please, smoochums. We only have eyes for you. Oh well. Well, I'll admit he's not too bad. He doesn't hold a candle to me. Naturally. Wait. Why do I feel like I've seen your face somewhere before? <laughs> Gee, I wonder. <laughs> totally has no clue, does he? Imagine if he knew the girl he was catcalling at the theatre was Aaron. He was catcalling. That's true. No time for pondering. We're about to set off on a little adventure, you see. Oh, they're going on a boat trip, weren't they? I remember that. Like, Darn reporter took up so much of my time yesterday. I've got to make up for lost time tonight. <laughs> this sounds rough. I have no idea what he's talking about. I know. Why don't I treat you girls to a nice dinner when you get back? As for the men, well, I'm sure we can spare some schnibbles. Jeez. Start your engines, ladies. I've got to show off my wide array of driving skills. Really? Oh, it feels quick. You're the best. 
I was not. F I'm sorry, Mr. Maxim. I was not familiar with his game. That's the meme, right? I know I'm butchering it. I sound like such an old man. Is that what the kidders say? Yes. Guy's got a boating license, I guess. Is that going to trigger anything? Funny that we're kind of headed that way too. The two places aren't that close together, though. But that we'll run into them again. We're going to save Maxim, aren't we? Right. I hope they don't have any trouble with the monsters. Meh. They have a guy. Let a blonde idiot do his thing. We've got to focus on Hai Long Cheng Zai. This shit ends today. I'm counting on you, Van. <laughs> I hope you're doing that as well. I hope you're all ready for this. Of course. What about you two? We're coming too. I'm feeling my other girl might be there as well. Once we're ready, we should hurry to the dock. Ooh. Bah. You best be ready for anything. Got it? Boom, boom. Is that it then? Ooh, oh, there's someone behind us. Oh, hello, Marielle. She's also talkable. I guess it's possible I was just seeing things. Wait a minute. Is it Molusia Archipelago? Nailed that. Just across the sea, there's a room about pirates being there. Maybe I was right all along. There really was a ghost ship around. There'd be one heck of a scoop. You deserve an actual scoop for helping us, okay? I hope we actually tell her something because she's really helped us out. Honestly, but yes. I hope the new pacing is good for you, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to end this episode here. Yes, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. The next one will be the Force Pity mission. Uh, because obviously that will probably... I'll probably miss that if I don't do that. So I'll do... My poor guy here still... <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is changing spots and walking around. This dude literally is stuck and no one's helping him. He's just so high on drugs. I respect that. So yes, if you like what you saw, feel free to like, comment and for God's sake, subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. And also, let oh, I almost started that. That would have been very bad. And let me know what you think of the new pacing again. Because again, I haven't actually uploaded yet. So I don't know at this point. Uh, I think this is better. Because again, the majority of these conversations on this rounds... With one, one line talks about how they were so scared. I mean, it's fun to do, like do the rounds while you're playing, but obviously watching it is different. So hopefully it's all good. And now that, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one as we do Tour de Force <laughs> buttons, please. Tour de Force 2. Nailed it. Charles. This.